Drag the dismissal man. Detail is men. How many lost, Lieutenant? Twenty-two of them, three of us. The war between the states, that bloody war, is ended. But here in the West, another war rages. From Montana to Arizona, men named Carpenter and Crook and Custer fight men called Red Cloud and Spotted Tail, Crazy Horse and Geronimo. It's a war of unparalleled horror and tragedy and savagery, of horrors beyond recounting. And yet, in the opinion of many, its most terrifying instant occurred, not on the plains, but here, in the comparative safety of Fort Union, New Mexico. And not during a battle, but during a dance. And not to a soldier, but to a girl. This is in the regulations. Well, we better check and find out, sir. Oh, by all means, first thing tomorrow. To the devil with the Apaches. So, where'd you run across them this time? North of Las Cruces. 40, 45 Braves. Las Cruces, Doñana, Tortugas. I wonder what's going on down there. Well, as a guess, I'd say Escominson's mounting an attack. Guesses won't feed the Bulldogs. We'll have to know. I know that, sir. I think maybe you better have another drink. Medicinal purposes. Combat's fatigue. Thank you, sir. Eustace? I think we can let this report go for a little while. You've been through enough. You're going back to quarters. Well, I... Uh... Surely you'd like a rest. Well, yes, sir, but I was... Well, Judas talking... Priest, Lieutenant, you'll want to clean up a little bit before you see her anyway. You'll have plenty of time. She's at the sutler's store. They just brought in a new shipment of eastern silk. And if I know my daughter and my wife, they'll be there half the day. Now, go on. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry. No, oh, no, no. Come in, Buchanan. Come in. Uh, Eustace, this is one of the new officer replacements. Lieutenant Fairchild, Lieutenant Henry Buchanan. I'm on it, Lieutenant. The honor's mine, Lieutenant. Colonel? Buchanan, you're uh, new in this territory. Come over here. I want to show you why we're worried. So that's fair, child. Hmm? Nothing, sir. Nothing. Well, Bernice, what do you think? I don't know about the color. Now, Henry, if you muck my hair. Henry! Eustace, when did you get back? About a half an hour ago. And it took you half an hour to come and see me? Well, I don't think that's very flattering. Who's Henry? You jealous? Of everybody who looks at you. Everything you brush up against. Who's Henry? You're going to feel awfully foolish. Major Tibbs, little boy. Oh, I see. Little Henry Tibbs, huh? The boy with the long, long arms. I thought he was standing on a stool. You know my stepmother. Of course I do. How are you, ma'am? Hello. Were there any casualties, Lieutenant? Yes, ma'am. There were three. Oh, I'm so sorry. How awful. I was just about to ask. I... Excuse me, I must buy some salt. Well, she needn't have looked so pious. I really was going to ask. Did you ask me? Of course. Now tell me seriously, what do you think of this? Sometimes, Lily, I... Sometimes you what? Sometimes I forget how lovely you really are. Listen, when are we going to announce the engagement? Soon. Is this going to be for the new dress for the ball, Saturday? Well, I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. 
Listen, let's announce it then. Before the first waltz. We'll see. Hey, do you remember this? La, ma, 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 ma. Yes, of course I remember. <sighs> Lily, I thought about you so often out there. Were any of those poor men married? Mm -hmm. Two. Don't you usually have a little something to say to the wives? Yeah, but it's not a task I jump at doing. Still, I suppose you're right. It does have to be done. Perhaps I'll see you tonight? Yes. Yes, of course. Mrs. Clark? Good day, Lieutenant. That is a very nice young man. Oh, to me, he seems an exceedingly drab one. Alongside Lieutenant Buchanan, you mean? He asked me to the ball. Which he? Both. And so you accepted both. You have a very popular stepdaughter. I have a very unique stepdaughter. She's the only unmarried girl on the post. Do you know, Bernice, sometimes you sound like those wicked stepmothers in books. The ones who are always so jealous of their husband's children. If you've finished with Lieutenant Fairchild, why can't you have the kindness to tell him so? He's terribly in love with you. Lily, do you hear me? He's terribly in love with you. Oh, fiddlesticks. Besides, who says I'm through with him? A girl ought to have as many bows as possible. At least that's what Papa tells me. Is that why you've thrown yourself so shamelessly at Lieutenant Buchanan? Ooh, step mama, you do sound jealous. And you're a married woman. That's a cheap and silly thing to say to me. Is it? You're a vain, cruel girl. And I pity you the growing up you'll have to do. Well, you just save your pity for someone who needs it, Bernice. Whether you know it or not, Lily, you need it. What do you intend to do Saturday night when two escorts show up? There won't be two. 